I'm on a stroll looking for that 20 foot Burmese python. Why? <laughs> what is he gripping to? A python. <gasps> what? Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sam, otherwise known as Snarex from TikTok. And on this channel, we've reacted to a lot of different types of people, specifically difficult people. But there is one category that we have skipped, although I can't believe that I haven't thought of this sooner considering the fact that this takes place where I live. <laughs> If it isn't already obvious today, we are gonna be reacting to videos featuring Florida man. The people in Florida are a very specific breed, if you will. And sometimes the behavior of an individual living in Florida is only significant to someone that would live in Florida. <laughs> and you'll see many examples of what I'm talking about in this video. And if you are thinking about maybe coming to Florida, vacationing, moving, make sure you watch the full length of this video before you do so and send it to any friends that might want to as well because these are some things that you just casually experience in the land of Florida. Now yes we have Disney World, yes we have Universal, but it also comes with crazy creatures like alligators, pythons, Ron DeSantis, cotton mouths. Florida drivers have a reputation for being assholes and I do have to put myself in that category but that's not what we're talking about today okay we're specifically focusing on Florida man so let's go ahead and jump into it. No recollection of that happening at all. At all. This store sells some good liquor. <laughs> I drank a lot of it that night. The viral video shows Robbie Stratton running through a convenience store with an alligator in his hands. He takes the animal in the beer fridge as well. I don't even remember coming up here. We asked what? Stratton where the alligator came from. No clue. No clue. I literally came to the store and he was in the back of the truck. They told me what I did was stupid and oh, I'll be facing some charges here soon. Yeah, that's probably mean. Probably go to jail, probably not. We'll see. He says he regrets his decision and he's been in contact with the FWC. He regrets his decision? He doesn't even remember making this decision. Imagine being in like a CVS and a man is sprinting at you with an alligator tucked under his arm. Like, ah, crazy Florida man, right? Literally drunk out of his mind. Well, this store sells some good liquor. <laughs> This isn't funny, this isn't cool, this is literally like asshole decision making here. But it's also very Floridian to see an alligator while you're drunk and your first thought is to pick it up and bring it around with you. This is the type of person that would take this alligator home and raise it as a pet and then not know what to do with it when it gets to be, mm, I don't know, 12 feet long and they literally just keep growing until they die, so. No clue. Asshole. It ain't no thing to do my thing, it's what I did the best. Yes. I what are you doing? Two chains and then I hid the rest. You know what? Nebraska Ave. How do I describe Nebraska Avenue? Is not a nice area. I don't know, is he sleeping? No, because he's moving. I don't know, I don't know. This is the type of thing that it's just, it's there and you just don't ask questions, you just keep driving, okay? <laughs> this reminds me, my friend and I are driving and a man that looks like he might be homeless just kind of walks out into the center of the road. We see him and, you know, we slow down and we're like, not supposed to be doing that, but we see you, okay? He starts walking, stops dead in the center of the road and looks into the car, sees that there is two high school girls sitting in the car and and just starts thrusting into the air. And we're just sitting there like, and then he just went on his merry way and I gave him a round of applause and we drove off a cliff. This doesn't phase me. This is Florida man for you. This is why you should never walk your pets mm -hmm. near the water's edge. Uh oh. Oh no. Go away, leave him alone. Oh, he saw it, he saw it, he saw it. Run, 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 run. <gasps> Oh, you bitch. You bitch, you tried to get that little cute thing. What even is that thing? I don't know. Yeah, these motherfuckers are fast. And I'm gonna say it is not necessarily unheard of or uncommon to see an alligator just walking down the street. Granted, it's definitely usually something that goes reported or people definitely avoid it if you're smart. This store sells some good liquor. <laughs> they usually just like lounge out by the ponds. But literally over the weekend when we were driving out of our neighborhood, there was two separate alligators that we saw not even close to a pond. One was in the median of a pretty busy road and the other one was just walking down the sidewalk. Where were they going? I don't know. We like to think that they were trying to meet up with each other. I don't know. The way it just maneuvered its way out of the water is so slick and creepy. They're no joke. A Florida man broke into a gas station but got identified by the police immediately because of what he left on site. The 21 year old was caught on camera entering through the back door and stealing dog food, antifreeze, a tobacco device, and six Tobacco six device, six so six like a vape. He's not a thief, but rather an impatient customer who wanted to pay everything back later. <laughs> 
That's why he says he left inside the evidence that led the cops to him. His own debit card with his name on it. What was your intention by leaving your card behind? Uh, so that I could come back later and pay for it. <laughs> what? What? Like, what is the point? I love that the mugshot is him, like, not giving a f about anything. It looks like he didn't regret his decisions. It looks like this f would do this again. I suppose they probably still arrested him because technically he stole it. Not to mention he also broke in. Part of me is actually kind of impressed <laughs> that this was the thought process because what the f Blech. Is that a- Ew! Ew! Yep. So pause real quick. Blech. I just saw the frog. Hold on. Something interesting about the python situation with the Everglades. They are now considered invasive in South Florida because people who once had them as pets found that they couldn't take care of them and literally just released them into the Everglades, which they have now taken over. And it's a big problem. The frog is just- Disgusting. Oh, baby gator. Oh God, Florida man. <laughs> Yuck, yep, that's it. I wonder what kind of water snake that is. Cottonmouths do go in the water, so that might be a cottonmouth. I'm not really sure. If you're a snake expert, feel free to let me know. I'm definitely not a snake expert, but I sure should know what snakes to avoid. There's alligators everywhere. They do have people that come remove them. And I have a really horrific story as a kid watching them remove an alligator from a pond, like jumped on its back, tied up its nose. This guy's all by himself, by the way. This is Florida man at the job of collecting collecting alligators from ponds. He literally picks it up, does this kind of like back and forth motion and throws it in the back of a truck on top of piles of other alligators. And you hear them all like hiss. Me and my friend were literally in tears because we felt so bad for these damn alligators. Climbing a drawbridge to draw attention to himself, a mystery man <laughs> clung to the metal grid as ships and boats passed by Miami's Brickle Bridge in the upright position. What the f <laughs> What's wrong with this dude? What is he gripping to? Isn't this Derek Newball shot this video from his rooftop as the climber reached the top. And then what? Uh, like this can't be real. It has to be insane. As he inched his way back down, it just goes right back down. Freaked. I am having a panic attack <laughs> watching this. My palms are literally sweating. <laughs> there was a boat passing by, and they start they started clapping. Police, of course, of course, people Miami were clapping. Sun makes stunts like this even more dangerous by heating I don't up understand the steel what he's gripping to. Surface. When he was halfway down, the bridge began to come down, and his arm went up in a fist pump. <laughs> When he started waving, it was as if he were conducting the horn section. No! And people are responding. When the bridge was level enough. The climber stood upright and ran. Time police arrived, he was gone. At the exact moment Derek stopped recording, the climber briefly got down on the ground. He did like a push up and just vanished. <laughs> First of all, I love how the woman announcing this sounds like this isn't the first time she's had to report on something like this. And his arm went up in a fist pump. Or at least this isn't the craziest thing that she's had to report on. And if she's a reporter in Miami, Florida, my God, bless her. <laughs> Interestingly enough, there are so many reports and situations regarding Florida man that supposedly anybody can Google their exact birthday, month, date, year, and there will be an article that pops up related to Florida man. So I would definitely encourage you to look up what your Florida man story is based on your birthday and let me know below because I want to know which one is going to be the craziest. I can only imagine. <laughs> what is- what are they standing on? You know, not gonna lie, this isn't the worst idea, but you could have just walked through it, just put on rain boots. You're not gonna fall, it's water. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then what hits? How did that happen? Okay, what you're doing is taking way longer and is way more effort. I assume this is probably from recently. South Florida has been having a lot of issues with flooding. So we've seen a lot of videos coming from South Florida. This is a bit more strategic than I would expect from the average Floridian. I think I would have probably just walked through that water, like whatever. <laughs> One of my favorite things about my hometown 
is that this school zone starts at a strip club <laughs> and then just a couple yards away ends right here at the bail bonds okay and i just feel like that is florida that is florida that is florida we do love our strip clubs and we do need lots of uh, legal services for obvious reasons i assume the school maybe was down that road in between them but that's still an unfortunate location. You know, nice sightseeing on your way to school. There's the strip club, there's the bail bond, there's the hub for human You know, it's all there. Florida. Hey guys, I'm hiking around in South Florida and check out this alligator. Ooh, big boy. She doesn't look too happy. Oh girl, excuse me. Well then get away from her. She's acting really defensive, which tells me she has a nest, so I'm gonna give her some space. Yeah. Guys, check out the size of this tegu. This thing is massive. Big. Probably one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Not as cute as this dusty day gecko though. This thing is so precious. Ooh. But check out this giant Madagascar day gecko. Mm. This thing is so huge and incredible. Ah! Look at the crest on Sorry. this sexy brown bass. That looks like a, that looks like a fucking dinosaur. You guys see that in the grass right there? What is that? A python. Yoink. <gasps> This big guy, they have those in Miami for sure. I remember being in a hotel room in Miami, like maybe like 15 stories up and I could see a iguana. I don't think that's what he said this was, but these are about the size of like how big they get in South Florida. The biggest lizard I've seen that wasn't an iguana was probably about like this big and he was on a tree in Boca Raton. We have a ton of geckos. There's like, if you look out the door, you're bound to see like some sort of lizard. If you're on a walk, they're all gonna be running in front of you. I just thought that was normal, but apparently that's not normal to just see lizards everywhere. And then the more south you go, the bigger they get. And they have bigger, curlier tails, which I thought was interesting. No idea why this guy grabbed a venomous snake with no shoes on. Rude. I think people seem to just think it's like cool that they can get so close to these alligators. Dude, obviously these creatures could kill you. So you're just doing this for some sort of power trip, but like, why? It just makes me like hate you. <laughs> oh, I hate people sometimes. A bite to her foot, but she says she's got quite the story to tell. Oh my gosh. Something grabbed me, so I'm like, don't you touch me. It looked pretty big and it was gray. It hurt, so I'm like, kick it, run away. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sound effects. Girl, that is the most casual victim of a shark attack I've ever seen. The fact that she just nonchalantly describes a shark attacking her. Don't you touch me. Absolutely insane. This girl is like chilling on her phone. She's got her squishmallow, it looks like. Got her iPad. She's good to go. This is probably like her best life. She doesn't have to go to school. She's just chilling. She's gonna get all this attention for having a boot on her foot. Like, I'm kind of happy for her because she seems like she's just fine. <laughs> Okay, thanks dude, really appreciate this. So instead of, you know, being one of those people that put scammer little devices on the gas station that steals your credit card information, this guy is simply just gonna rearrange the gas pump. So when you wanna buy premium, you'll actually buy diesel. It'll be a mess. And he probably won't be here to see it or experience it or have any sort of reinforcement from this prank, but I guess why not? Do it. The fact that he washes his head with this water is so disgusting. I mean, let me rephrase that. He didn't wash anything. He dirtied himself up with this water because Lord knows the water in those little windshield wiper stations is like black, usually. It's disgusting. It usually smells. I, whenever I clean my car off with it, I'm like, I feel like I'm just putting other people's grime all over my vehicle. Oh, that's probably gonna itch. Just, it's probably just, dirty, itchy, bug, oil, water. Ugh. Why? Check this out. There's an alligator right underneath me. Hopefully I don't fall. He doesn't know I'm <laughs> here yet. Juicy bullfrog. No. no! I'm not watching. What do you have to say for yourself, mister? He is letting me hear it. Oh. Right here, we got a yellow rat snake. Hi. They're a great native snake that we have here in the Everglades. Oh, he's nice. He gave me a little kiss. Love these guys so much. Glad I could get them out of the road safely. Yeah. I'm on a stroll looking for that 20-foot Burmese python. Why? This alligator kept biting into the mud. I was wondering what he's doing. Turns out he's grabbing fish out of the grass. Oh. Later, I hooted up these barred owls. Listen. Oh, I hate those things. Those things used to scare you me at night. You guys don't know by now. I can talk to animals. I ended up giving this one a juicy rat. Don't ask how I did all that. You better love me Poor back. Rat. 
Check out this leopard frog. Stop! Way too many frogs for that video, unacceptable. I wish I had known that before pulling this video. Not sure why this guy is just casually trying to do these things. I've been to the Everglades, I think once, and I hated every second of it. I refused to go anywhere near the actual Everglades. I only went into the information center slash mini museum, and uh, that was good enough for me. I hate frogs so much. I saw one so big that it was stuck trying to get through a, what are those, just like a typical fence. I'll literally put a picture of it because I don't know how to describe it. It was stuck because its ass was so big. It couldn't get through. I will help snakes. I will help spiders. I will help freaking beetles before I help a frog. So you better as hell believe that I left it there. I mean, natural selection. <laughs> Let nature take its course on this one, you know? things that I wish I would have known about moving to Florida before moving to Florida. Everything is way more expensive, not even just like rent, food and drinks too. Like in Arkansas, you can get a meal, a good meal for like $30, maybe with a drink or something. And here you literally cannot go out and spend less than like $50 if you're gonna get a drink. That is true. Although I unfortunately don't have very good perspective of what it's like in other states because usually when I travel, I go to like touristy areas, which are like really high prices. Honestly, like if my husband and I went out and and got drinks and dinner, it usually comes out to about $70. Maybe that would include an appetizer, but I don't know. I, I always thought that was kind of average. Rent, on the other hand, is out Rages. And also at bars, drinks are literally like $10, $15, which is crazy. That is, sounds about average for drinks. And if you go somewhere like Disney World or the beach, easily like $18 for like a margarita, easily. Second, people do not know how to drive and they don't have patience. Like the light will literally just have turned green and people are, are behind me are already honking at me. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> people on the road in Florida are crazy. If you're going the speed limit, you're going way too slow. If you're driving in the left lane and not going at least 20 over, you're gonna get people like swerving around you, like trying to cut you off. If, if you're not comfortable driving, maybe just get an Uber. Nobody that lives in Florida is from Florida. I don't know why. <laughs> Literally everyone's from a different state, which I am too, so. For me, that is true, because technically I did move to Florida from Massachusetts when I was four, and my husband moved here, I'm not sure when it was, maybe middle school? From Ohio. My parents are both from New England. My brother is the only one in this family that was born in Florida and still lives in Florida, so I promise they're out there. All right, and with that, we're gonna take a break from Florida Man. That is all I have for you guys today. So remember, if you want me to react to any videos, make sure you send it to me on my Instagram, TikTok, or send it to my email. Just do your research before you come here because it's ass, okay? The weather sucks, it's humid, it rains one second, it's 100 degrees the next. The pollen here is killer. It actually has tried to kill me on several occasions. We've got hurricanes, okay? It's it's all bad just most of the time until it's winter and everyone else is in the snow and you get to go to the beach. That's pretty fun. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you next time. Bye!